Okay, so the uh, waves and wedges video explained a few things. Um, some of you might be thinking, it, oh, that stuff's kind of hokey. Um, it doesn't explain everything, and you left out the part about what actually causes the uh, fractures to happen. And uh, there are some other types of flakes that are not explained by the uh, the wave and the wedges explanation. And you're right. <clears throat> so I'm going to take some time here and uh, go over a few more things. And then probably in part three, I'm going to go over how to make the elusive long flake because that's that's what everyone wants I mean if there were nothing but videos on YouTube on making long flakes it would be good enough but anyway um, this is not a long flake video <laughs> this is a video on uh, lip flakes and uh, these particular flakes really don't look like your normal uh, flakes that are formed by conchoidal fractures or Hertzian cones and all that good stuff. Forces are the same, except sometimes you get a, a initiation. Uh, that looks kind of weird. It's kind of strange. Um, and from the side view, when this flake comes off, you have this little projection here. Actually, this is probably more like this. You have this projection that sticks out. Instead of a bulb of force, usually you have a, a rounded bulb of force, your platform, your flake. This is a part of the original edge of the, uh, the biface. You get the bulb of percussion, but on some flakes you have this little lip, and this is what it looks like. Uh, this is kind of sh maybe I should shade this. The uh, platform looks really huge. You get this uh, very steep lip, or let's say ledge and it's not your typical bulb or percussion type flake. <clears throat> well, um, the way I see it, it is a regular bulb or percussion type flake, but it just has more of the surface carried along with it, which means the initiation didn't, uh, didn't happen where it should, but there's probably some little wedges in there that you know, tried to initiate. Let's say the force was here. There were some wedges in here that tried to initiate, but instead there was a weak spot out here, <clears throat> and this wedge out here initiated, and it pulled the flake off. But you still have room for a little bubble of percussion in there, just not visible because of this lip. Now, what causes this kind of flaking? Uh, this is where I might step on a few toes. But what causes this kind of flaking is a, a platform that's too strong with a force that's too strong. So, uh, platform and applied force both of these, when both of these are done at the same time they're too strong. The platform is too strong for the edge and the applied force is too strong for the edge. You get these lip flakes. They usually happen on thin edges. Uh, I have yet to see very many lip flakes on really, really thick cores or thick bifaces. They happen usually when the edge is too thin That's what we normally uh, would think, but 
you can strike flakes on edges that are very thin. Um, so it, this is not really what it is. The edge is not really too thin. What is what happens is the uh, platform you, you've abraded quite a bit, and you've got a really rounded, very heavily abraded and polished platform that you strike with way too much force. So these little wedges, these little initiations that start to open up um, are too, way too small to carry that crack. So uh, this, you know, the surface when you abrade it, you're actually eliminating a lot of these little wedge possibilities. A lot of these little cracks um, won't happen because the edge is worn down and smoothened. So there isn't many little areas for those cracks to develop. So if you've got this area polished down and ground down and is really strong, you're not going to get an initiation near there. You're going to get one that's up here somewhere where it's weaker. And then it'll break off like that. Okay, so this is just a short video on lip flakes. Uh, they're also called bending flakes. Sorry for the handwriting. Um, it's also called bending initiation. Uh, and so forth. All of this stuff is um, pretty much uh, useless. This bending terminology. Because all flakes will bend. This is probably the best explanation. In my view, uh, these are lip flakes. And they do contain those, you know, within the within that lip there is a little bubble of percussion possibility for one. And there is the mass in there. It just didn't break that way. It broke in a different way and um, left a little lip. Okay, so that's it.